Good morning, evening, afternoon, I'm Tana Cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we're playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Previously, uh, we got through Lada's testimony and found out she wasn't really looking at the boat. She was just looking at the lake and she was there to take pictures of Gordy. And now we left on a cliffhanger with a just to the enlargement, show other evidence, or wait and see. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, wait and see seems like the bad option though. So I'm gonna look at the photo. two shots though I guess uh, I don't have more of it, uh, I don't really have more of it so I guess I can object to the enlargement your honor there is something decidedly strange with this enlargement what might that be? The ominous glowing red blinking of If you fail, you lose two hit points. Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge What's strange about the photo? Um. Oh, this is so scary! <laughs> um, the gun? I guess? The, the whole thing is strange. This is weird. The gun looks different. Anyway, what do I push? Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What the shooter, what about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? 
that hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand. Oh, this man's left hand does what? Oh, it was a right hand, wasn't it? Like a right fingerprint? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that left hand contradicts. I think they said left hand, right? The murder weapon, 22 caliber for time. There's fingerprints of right hand. I was thinking the gun looked different. <laughs> I love being right for the wrong reason. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding the pistol in his right hand, in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo. The man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? You have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who did or something precisely? As we've seen, there were no other people. Then why was he at the lake? Is that what it said? I think either I clicked on something or did that lovely I'm going to speak really quickly and move without pressing any buttons thing. As we've seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot? Heart, the victim himself, Larry. Could have been Miss Hart. <laughs> the victim himself. There's a. <laughs> I'm gonna get marked off for this. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order, order. So you are saying the victim committed suicide. Yes, your honor. I can think of no other explanation. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. What? Now, I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. The suicide is out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wounds reveal the distance which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. Okay, question. If you knew the victim was shot from further than a meter away, then why are you assuming the person on the boat was the person who shot the victim? Being that the boat is so small, then clearly that person was not a meter away from the victim, so the person on the boat did not kill the victim. That is silly that you have been accusing whoever's on the boat to be the murderer when you knew the 
distance of the bullet from which it was fired from. Duh. Cause they look pretty close together on that boat. Certainly closer than three feet. A meter? That's three feet. No. Mm. There's no way it could have been Order. Order. No, seriously. <laughs> they are right next to each other. That is closer than three feet. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your detail? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Robert's autopsy reports. Time of death sometime on the 24th or 25th. Shot from approximately one meter away. Autopsy report updated in the court of record. Hmm. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the fingerprints on the gun revealed the shooter was not... Mr. Edgeworth, this is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend pros proceedings for the trial for today. For the day. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. That is all. The court is adjourned. Gabble, gabble. December 26, 1.15 p.m. District Court, Detention, Defendant, Lobby Number 2. <sighs> that was a close one. Hey! Don't you have anything to say? No. Well, yeah, but... What happened out there? On that lake? Oh, what happened out there on that lake anyway? If he did commit suicide... If he need to start reading the names of the people. If he didn't commit suicide, then who... The shooter was about a meter away, too. <laughs> Did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Ha, <laughs> cause that's what you do with your clients. Look. I'm going to check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Wait, kill you to just state how you really feel with. Thanks, Edgeworth. I might kill him. You never know. I request. I requisitioned a transcript of. Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial to come tomorrow. 
Of course, she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Blood is the position. I heard two sounds like gunshots just after midnight on 1225. Not a supposition added to the court record. To be continued. Oh, yes, the gathering of evidence. Oh, do I have to go back to the I, I assume the boat places. I'm going to investigate the boats at some point. Because I feel like something should have been there. And clue wise. And there was nothing there. December 26th. Detention center visitor's room. Maya! Hey, Nick! It's you! I'm glad Mr. Atrus made it through the day, okay? It's a relief! Hey! Why'd you do that anyway? I don't know... I... I just know I had to do something! Knew I had to do something! I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was! I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Okay. Questioning? Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said... Bail money be Mia. Any luck with Mia? I can't get through to her again at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really. Best. I should check and see if there's or any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. All right. December twenty-sixth, Gorge Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Back to examining everything. Let me guess, a tree is a tree. I feel winter, so yep, trees be tree in. Yep, trees be treeing in the winter, they make you feel colder because they be naked trees. I'm stuck on the thing. The sign still says that. Okay, cool. Time to go to the beach. December 26th. Squirt Lake, Public Beach. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with 
his lovely fiance. Uh, no, I gotta examine everything just in case. The trash can. Trash can's empty. The famous Gord Lake. It's green water. And the beaches. Samurai dogs. post that tells me stuff all right so no info no new info i should say i'm going to go to the boat place December 26 boat rental shop looks like the boat rental shop is closed today too trees Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They probably closed because the murder. I just feel like the fact that it happened on a boat means there should be something going on with the boats. There's some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in a boat from the dock. Apparently, the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's a space for one more boat at the dock. So the police have the boat. All right, uh, let's go to the woods. Yep, December 26, woods. A gumshoe, detective gumshoe. Hey, Belle. A trial today, hitter. Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though, you did have Mr. Edgeworth. You did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure. Strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow. It sounds like he's surprising. It, he oh, he's surprising. It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Yeah, they talked about having a witness before we found Lada. Oh right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. I was wondering who the other witness was. Uh, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Prosecutor Edward. Oh, right. 
I wanted to ask you something about Edward. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I've never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edward doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. He, him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The BL6 incident? Yup, that's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Maya Faye. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they have their report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear for two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. <gasps> his lip trembled? Well, that's practically a sob for him. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she said, did, even, you know? I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh wait! Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth's posting the, the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful for her. For what she did. To her, even. Alright, pal, well, don't forget to pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. I mean, maybe. I think Lana takes very good care of her SUV. It's covered with dents. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. There's food and some magazines. It's pretty tough skin to camp in this. Okay. I wonder why she brought a camping cooker with her. There's a convenience store right up the street, but that's not free. I guess she wanted to get into the outdoor spirit. Or she just didn't want to pay for convenience store food. But that's a tree. Trees be treein'. Treein' all day or day. The sign says no camping, and she blatantly ignored that. Yes, 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 the pitcher tent joke. Lana's camera is staring out at the lake as usual. Even a novice like me can tell that camera must cost a pretty penny. I hope she doesn't leave it out here to get stolen. Two separate things. Okay. Bye, Mickey. 
last, eh? Nell's interrogators are really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like, I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Think Edgeworth. Huh? He posted the bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Indeed we do. Because if we don't, well, the game ends. And we can't have that. We have a whole trilogy. This is the only... The first beginning of said trilogy. So, uh, we will see where we go after this. Not quite sure. Yet. <laughs> Until then, see you next time.